Uh, hey, Wall Nation, of course, Aaron Bruno is here. Dude, it is really good to see you. You too, man. It's always good to see you guys. You are truly one of the hardest working guys right now because we're interviewing you today in Houston. I saw your schedule tomorrow. You're back up in New York. With Public Enemy, dude. We're playing right before Public Enemy. It's such a dream come true for me. It's a big deal. Anyways. No, but that's cool. This show's the best today. Don't no, 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 no. But then I'm you go on like, into I Canada and believe. you've got a... You, you really keep a tough schedule. Yeah, you know, actually, the month of August we got a little bit of time off so I could work on the new record and everything, you know, and do that and, and surf and feel normal for a second. But, um, it's you know, I can't complain, man. You wait your whole life to get to this point and it's here. And so it, 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 every once in a while I'm, I'm stressed about flying or traveling. So I'm like, all right, calm down. You're lucky to have this opportunity. Everything's okay, you know. But, um, ah. yeah, I haven't gotten sick of the songs or anything like that. I'm more excited to play them now than ever. So all's good, you know. But I remember sit, sitting in a corner of a bar in Austin, Texas with, with you, and this is kind of things were kind of getting started, you know, with, with the record and things like that. And, and you, you were talking about the vision and what you really wanted to happen. Dude, everything has just really fallen into place. I mean, yeah. seriously, the song is everywhere, which leads me to, uh, I got to start off by asking you, yeah. you are aware that Sale played during the opening ceremony of the Olympics. I am. I am aware. I've been wanting to tell so many people about it for like, I think maybe five months. But oh, I didn't so want you to knew say, about it already. Yeah, I knew about it. Because, you know, with those situations, you have to prove it and sign off on anything heavy like that, right? So I was like, you know, I wanted to tell all my buddies, hey, man, we got a good, a good commercial, you know? Because we've had a couple good moments like that, but that's the big, the Olympics is, is it, right? Olympics and the Super Bowl, what more would more you want? So Megalithic uh, Symphony, when we, when we were talking to you years past and throughout, you know, when we run into you a couple of times, uh, really excited about it, and it's done really, really well. You're riding on the new stuff. I got to ask you the obvious question: mm -hmm. What's what's? When do we get to hear some new stuff? Uh, um, you know, there's probably four songs recorded for the record, for the second record, which I don't know what the title of it is yet. I kind of have a couple ideas, you know. But uh, and you know, I, I have no shortage of ideas. It's just a matter of time, you know. I we've been doing a lot of these fly dates for these radio festival kind of things, but uh, once. We, in, in about a month, once we get back in the bus and do like a normal run, it'll be a lot easier for me to get back in the swing of things and write more songs, you know. Or at least start the idea, that's what I do, is I'll start, um, you know, at least 60% of the song on my my little home studio in the bus, and then I take it into the real studio. Which I think is, is you mentioned, you talked to us about, when we talked to you at ACL in Austin, mm -hmm. you were talking about the fact that you were recording and working on music on the bus. Yeah. Is that I a, don't think we had graduated to a bus just yet. Oh, really? I think... Uh, Maybe I read that, but I knew you were doing that. Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. I mean, I made most of the record in, in different various rooms that I was allowed to like make racket in, you know what I mean? So, no matter what, uh, I could always make music pretty much, you know? I know you're getting ready to hit the stage, yeah, but yeah, your no crowd way. surfing, dude, is yeah. something that you're known for. And I, we showed video on TV of the surf scene in Austin yes. at ACL. That was, was the massive. beginning of it, you know. Really? That was the first time that I am aware of that anyone has surfed on a surfboard or a boogie board on a crowd. And now it's extended to this much bigger thing. I had like a custom board built for it at Coachella and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm sure other people have walked on other stuff on the, on the, on the crowd, but... It's also one of those things that expects it, so I can't do it every time. So sometimes Kenny has to go surfing, and I gotta just kind of like be the, the parent that took Do you ever get nervous though? Like, do you, that people are gonna. Do people just grab you? And yeah, they grab me all the time. But I only go when I know it's packed like sardines, and I came up with the hardcore scene, man, so nothing can faze me. If I fell onto the ground, I'd be fine. I've fallen many times, you know. But since the band started, I haven't fallen to the ground one time. So that's another thing, is, is it's really embarrassing if you're like, hey, I'm, you know. I'm the singer, watch me jump in the crowd and you fall to the ground, you can't do that, you know. So our keyboard player Kenny's learned that the hard way two times recently in Portugal, he jumped, fell straight to the ground. And uh, that was hilarious. Yeah. So you gotta well, be careful. 